All right, what's up? Welcome back. And uh, today we're going to be talking about, it's almost a debate between getting a bunch of monthly subscriptions versus selling upfront annual packages to clients, right? In this video, what I want you to do is I want you to take notes. And if you have questions for me about how to sell annual packages, this is what I specialize in. Now at this point with coaches, if you have any questions, reach out to me. All right, you're gonna see my number pop up on the screen here in two seconds. All right, now what I want you to do, that this is gonna probably challenge the way that you think. I have really been challenged with this over the last two years because I have changed my business model a lot, all right? But here's what it is, all right? Let's say you have 50 clients, right? And your 50 clients are paying $200 per month, right? If we just sit back and do the math, all right, it's $10,000 per month. So 50 clients times $200 per month. Let's say they're all on um, a 12 month contract. I think right now you probably don't have your business set, set up that way, but let's say it is, right? Over the course of the year, that's $120,000 of revenue, all right? $10,000 a month times 12 months equals $120,000 of revenue, right? Stay with me on the math, because like, I'm gonna try to keep this simple, all right? That's example number one. Example number two, right, is you have 50 people over the course of the year, right? And instead of selling them monthly commitments to where they pay X amount a month over the course of a year, now what we're doing is we're selling units, right? We're selling 50 units at the same price that it would take to get to $120,000, right? So all I need to do here is I take $120,000 and I divide that by 50, all right? Now, what you're doing in this scenario is you're selling packages that are $2,400, all right? My math is right, all right? So in this scenario, it's a little bit different. You are only focused on selling $2,400 packages versus selling $200 per month. Now, let me ask you this question, because a lot of coaches that I work with now, I've challenged them with, uh, with this concept and they're switching their business and their business is way easier. And the question is, would you rather have uh, 50 recurring payments come in every single month, all right, and have the risk of some of those people opting out or dropping out or their credit card failing? Um, there's a variety of different things that can happen that are bad for your business if you have a subscription model, all right? And I think a subscription model can be great if it's really organized. Most people don't have it really organized, right? So let's say though, you have 50 people, 50 subscriptions that are coming every single month, or over the course of the year, you just sell 50 units at $2,400 and make the exact same amount of money. Which one would you rather have? Now, what I'll tell you, it's a lot easier to sell $2,400 packages if you know how to sell it, right? If you know how to sell it, if you have a great program, if you have systems in place, if you have the language down on how to break down that sale, right? And $2,400 is not a lot of money, right? If you think that is way far out of, uh, far out of reach for your clients to pay, then you probably need to rethink your service, right? Because that's essentially that's $200 a month. I think you could charge way more than $2,400. Right? Personally, I believe that. Unless you're just a terrible coach and, and you suck at sales and, and you don't believe in your product, like then you can't do it, right? But a lot of coaches that I work with sell packages like this. And what we're doing now is we're just focusing on units sold during the year, right? One of my top clients uh, last month, right? He sold 10 units, right? And I'm just gonna give you the stats here. He sold 10 units at $4,000 each, all right? So that one month he made $40,000. So that's $40,000 collected in one month. He's not getting that paid uh, paid to him over the course of the year. That is 40 grand up front, all right, all at once. 
in one month. He had, um, yeah, he had 10 people, four grand each. Um, and I believe he had 30 sales calls. So he talked to 30 parents over the phone. 20 of those people did not buy. 10 of them bought, right? Pretty simple math there, all right? So he's closing about 33% of the phone calls, which is great. He's selling a higher ticket type of product, all right? 40 grand in one month. That is a lot more money than most coaches make per year, all right? He did that in one month. So the great thing is like, because he closed them, he puts them into his system. He's not working extra hours with those clients. And then this month, he's he still has people on recurring, all right? Because he still has that set up. But this month, he's like, all right, cool. Can I beat 10? All right, can I beat 10 units? And if he does, it's like he's going to have another 40 or 50 or $60,000 uh, a month, um, which is amazing, all right? Because he's now focused on units sold versus let's get people on monthly billing, all right? So that's kind of a debate that a lot of coaches have been talking about with me on our group calls that we have every week. And um, I'm a big believer at this point in my career, selling units is, I think, long term going to be a lot more profitable for the business. And it's much easier to run your business when you think in terms of, all right, this month, my goal is to sell this many units. All right. And long term subscriptions can be good if it's operated the correct way. I see a lot of coaches struggle with subscriptions because they don't have rules and regulations in place with their clients. They don't have agreements. They don't have contracts. Uh, it's very loosey goosey. So you might think you have someone sign up for three months or six months or 12 months, but if they drop out after the first month, where, where'd all that money go? You just lost all that money. When people pay up front, that doesn't happen. They are more committed. They have more skin in the game. And you've heard me say this on other videos. When, when people pay you more, they pay more attention to your service. They're more committed and they are more likely to get better results, right? And they're also more likely to give you referrals who can pay the same amount or more for your business, all right? So that's just something to think about. So I am advising all the coaches that I work with coming up, we're going after the upfront payments. So we have days where we have multi-thousand dollar deals, right? And that's gonna be pretty common uh, and, and very normal for the coaches that I work with coming up, all right? So that's it for today's video. I hope this helps. Hit the subscribe button if you are a sports coach that's looking to grow their business. That's it. Catch you later.